Dr. Jeff Volick is part of the Department of Kinesiology and Nutritional Sciences at the University of Connecticut. Also a registered dietitian, Dr. Volick says there's been little innovation over the last four decades when it comes to fueling an athlete. We're still using a lot of simple sugars that were used 30 or 40 years ago in products. Uh, we've started to use maltodextrin, uh, which essentially uh, is a slight improvement over simple sugars, but not a major incremental uh, leap in, in advancement in carbohydrate nutrition. Uh, and here comes Generation You Can and their Super Starch product. And this is really a major uh, advancement in the technology of delivery of fuel. Dr. Volick uses an automotive metaphor to describe how Generation You Can differs from most sports drinks. If you want peak performance in your car, uh, one of the things you don't want to do is empty your entire gas tank into your engine all at once. Uh, but that's essentially what you do with sugar-based sports drinks. You essentially dump all that sugar from the intestines into your blood all at once. And oftentimes these sports drinks contain up to five or tenfold more sugar than we have in our blood. So that puts a big stress on the bloodstream to process that level of sugar. Super Starch time releases glucose into the body, providing the athlete with sustained energy and avoiding the spike and crash that comes with many of today's sports drinks. Coming back to the uh, car analogy, uh, to have peak performance in your car, you want to empty just small amounts of gas from your tank into your combustion chambers to have efficient performance in your vehicle. So Super Starch does that. It, it releases glucose at a slower, more timed released rate that matches the uh, rate of oxidation in muscle. And so you don't overwhelm the bloodstream. It's not overkill like it is with most uh, sugar-based sports drinks. Super Starch is easy on the stomach because of its low osmolality when mixed with water. Osmolality measures the concentration of a solution. One of the main factors that contributes to gastric distress is the osmolality of a solution. So those um, sugar-based products that have a lot of sugar molecules per unit volume will tend to cause stomach problems in athletes. And so in super starch, we have an extremely large molecule, a very long strand of glucose molecules that exerts very little osmolality and gets out of the stomach very rapidly compared to sugar-based products. While Super Starch leaves the system quickly, its impact is long-lasting. It enhances fat burn in athletes by preventing spikes in insulin. Insulin levels will potently block the body's ability to access its fat stores and burn fat for fuel. Now in Super Starch, what we have is, I think, the best of both worlds. You're providing a carbohydrate source but at the same time, you're not blocking the athlete's ability to burn body fat. So they can use really two fuels, fat and carbohydrate. It's like a hybrid car. You can run on electricity, but you also have a gas tank there you can tap into if need be. And this is a more ideal state for an athlete to be in. Super Starch allows athletes to reach their ideal performance levels without the fear of contaminated supplements. It's an actually a food product. It has a food label, not a supplement label. I know a lot of athletes are very concerned about the purity of supplements. There's absolutely no concern with Super Starch because it is a natural food product. Dr. Volick calls Super Starch a true innovation in carbohydrate nutrition and believes it can help everyone achieve a healthier lifestyle. We're facing uh, an epidemic of obesity and diabetes that uh, we have never seen in this country and I, I think the major problem that people are facing is they're consuming too many carbohydrates, too many fast-acting carbohydrates and super starch uh, is a very healthy form of carbohydrate in that it doesn't spike a person's glucose or insulin levels and doesn't block a person's ability to burn their own body fat and this is very important for uh, treating obesity and maintaining a healthy weight and preventing uh, diseases like diabetes and metabolic syndrome. So the application outside of sports nutrition is uh, potentially even more uh, important and exciting uh, as a way to just improve the quality of people's diets.